Hi everyone. <laughs> Today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to draw graphs. Okay, so in order to do that, make sure that you have your graph papers with you. Today, especially, lah, we need graph papers. Uh, of course, a pencil and your calculator as well. Lah. But this is the question in page 86 lah, uh, that, uh, you, uh, that you already answered in your workbook. Okay, which is kalau kamu sketch the graph and then kamu cari the number of solutions, okay, you will get something to this effect lah. But the problem is, sorry ah, okay, so it's until 2 pi, so 2 pi is over here. So sine 2x is 2 cycles uh, with the maximum of 1 and negative 1. And then the y equals to 4x over 3 pi minus 3 over 2 is the blue color line. Di mana the intersections is this. So the question is, how do we find this value, the x value, uh, which is 1.942, okay, 3.035 and 4.501. We want to know how to find the x values where there is a solution. Okay, same thing that what you learned in Form 4 when you were doing graphs. Okay, so the first thing that we need to learn is how to make the table. Sebab kalau kamu perlu melukis graph bahkan, if you want to draw a graph, you need a table with at least, okay, at least eight values. Okay, for the trigonometry graph, we don't worry about the, we don't worry about the straight line. Straight line very easy one. Okay, but for the trigonometry graph, we need at least eight values. Okay, we need at least eight values for this. So let's consider this now, huh? y equals to sine two x okay the first thing we need to do is to find the period okay the period equals to 2 pi over b up to b okay let's go back to this remember that all uh, all graphs if i can find the thing <laughs> all graphs there okay all graphs this is the letter b how many cycles in 2 pi? Okay, we need to find the period first. So, in order to find the period, we know that our B is 2. So, the period is 2 pi over 2, which is equals to pi. Leave the answer as pi. Okay, tapaya, tapaya teruskan, uh, don't need to change to 22 over 7. As you've probably noticed by now, we, are not in, we have not even used the 22 over 7 and 3.142 yet. Okay, so the period is pi. After you get the period, okay, we need to find the class interval. Okay, class interval, uh, if you remember from statistics, bahkan, it is the upper jarak di antara the first and the second box, first and the second box. Okay, so let's say if we want to have, uh, we want to draw, we want to plot the table, bahkan. okay, so all these are classes. Setiap satu nilai x ini adalah satu class, and we want to find, you know, the class intervals between this one lah. So how to find the class interval? Okay, we use the period, and then we divide it by eight. Okay, so you will get pi over eight, or one over eight pi lah. Kalau kamu mau, you can use this lah. One over eight astaga, one over eight pi. Okay. Now, once you have the class interval, the first class interval is 1 over 8 pi. And then the next class interval lah, kamu tambah saja 1 over 8 pi. Okay, so you get 1 over 8, okay, 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, you get 1 over 4. Okay, so you continue. Okay, and you do this until you hit the end of the question, the end of the range. Dalam soalan ini, dia minta kamu melukis graph from 0 until 2 pi. So, that means here, you add 1 over 8 pi. Then you add another 1 over 8 pi. Then you keep adding and adding and adding until you reach 2 pi. Okay, until you reach 2 pi or until you reach, you know, depending on the question lah, bergantung kepada soalan lah bahkan. Okay, depending on the question. Okay, so you get 1 over 4, then you plus 1 over 8 some more, you will get 3 over 8 pi. Okay, then you plus 1 over 8 some more, you get 1 over 2 pi. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so, 
Should I continue? Yeah, let me continue lah. Okay, after one over two pi, that's eight all together, right? Okay, plus one over eight. Okay, you get five over eight pi. That's uh, so one over eight. Okay, you get three over four pi. Okay, actually, the more values you have, uh, the better it is lah. Okay, plus one over eight. Okay, you get seven over eight pi, and then you get pi, and then after, <laughs> okay, plus one over eight is one. Plus one over eight is nine over eight pi. Okay, and so on and so forth. Some pi kamu until you reach two pi. Okay, until you reach two pi. So you're going to get, I'm sorry, uh, you're, I know I say at least eight values, right? But in this table, you're going to get 16 values. Uh, and it's okay. It's okay to have 16 values because, uh, you know, um, because, oh well. <laughs> okay, it's good to have 16 values. Okay, it's good to have 16 values. And the good thing is you can, because the interval, uh, dia adalah sama rata besar bahkan. So you can use 2cm for each interval. So one eight one over eight pi is two cm. What another, the next one one over four pi is two cm. Okay, so let me show you ah. Uh. So dengan menandaikan this is your kertas graph lah. Okay, so one over eight pi two cm one cm or two cm lah depending if your graph is big enough. You can put it in uh, landscape uh, if you want. Okay, then after that one over four pi. Then after that what's the other one? <laughs> Three over eight pi. Okay. 3 over 8 pi and after that 1 over 2 pi and so on and so forth. They may manga, it is definitely, okay, it is definitely, uh, it is definitely sakata because we have already done the prior calculations. Okay, that's why uh, the first thing you need to do is find the period and then after that you find the class interval. Okay, so what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you 15 minutes okay to make the table out okay so in your graph paper or in whatever okay in your graph paper if you can draw the table out put in all the values okay so if this are uh, 1 over 8 pi beginning yeah uh, so y equals to sine 2 times 1 over 8 pi okay so how do you calculate this uh? sine okay 2 times 1 over 8 pi is 1 over 8 times 180 Okay, you will get 45 over 2 lah. Okay, 45 over 2. So you will get sine 45. Because 2 dan 2 boleh potong. So sine 45 will give you about 0 0.383. Uh, begitu. Okay, so you put the value here. 0 0.383. Okay, actually 2 tempat perpuluhan pun boleh lah. 0 0.3 also can lah. Okay, so once you get all the 16 values, then you plot it out. Okay, plot out in your uh, in your graph paper and then you draw it out. Okay, can you do that first? So let's just try, actually this one question, if you can do this one question, can you do one? Okay, uh, let's just try it out. Lah. Okay, put in the table, 16 values, draw out the graph. Okay, uh, and then after that at 1... 105. Okay, 105. Uh, I will continue. Kita belum habis. Now uh, we need to find how to. We need to find the three solutions. But the first thing I need to teach you is how to draw the graph. Everything after this now uh, is senang sudah ini. Okay. Now the problem is how to fill in the uh, how to fill in the graph. Okay. Uh, maybe what can help us uh, is uh, if you <laughs> if you want lah. Okay. If you want uh, you can write out the values. Uh, in the chat box, okay, so that we can all see and just double check with one another. Okay, so 1 over 8 pi is 0 0.38. Itu kita sudah tahu lah. So 1 over 4 pi is how much? 3 over 8 pi. Okay, kita saling menolong lah. Okay, kita saling menolong. Uh, and so you write down your answers in the chat box, one by one. Huh? Okay, and then uh, I will fill in this box uh, for you. Okay, so fill in the box, draw the graph, uh, put in your answer in the chat box. Okay, and then uh, just to double check lah. Okay, and then we will come back at 105 to continue. Okay, sorry ah, my mistake ah. So sine 45 is actually 0 0.71. Remember ah, guys, sebab kamu mengira pakai calculator, you need to use the value of pi as 180. 
Okay, use the value of pi as 180. So ini akan jadi uh, 90 degrees. 1 over 8 pi is 90 degrees. Lah. Uh, sorry, uh, 22.5. Okay, so sine 2, 22.5 will give us sine 45. Baru kau dapat 0.7071. Okay, so, oh no, sorry, <laughs> I want to write, so yeah, not 90 degrees, now 22.5 degrees, okay, so you get sine 22, 2 times 22.5, so sine 2x kan, x adalah 2, 2, 2 .5. So each and every one of these you have to darab dengan 180 in order to find the angle in uh, degrees. Okay, basically, <laughs> it's just flipping between two points and three points lah. Okay, it's either 0 0.711, and then negative 0 0.71, and then 0. Okay, so what you will get, okay, is when you draw the graph, uh, okay, so, of course, make the 1 a bit higher, lah, uh, so that it's easier for you to see. So you have the 1, and then over here, the negative 1. Okay, so you get 0 0.71 is somewhere here, and then 0, and then 0 0.71, and then uh, 0. Okay, and then after that, somewhere over here, one over here, and then here, and then the same thing lah. Okay, basically what you're going to get is you're going to get the shape that you actually sketched out much earlier. Okay, except that now you are drawing the graph. Okay, now if you haven't finished drawing the graph, let me pause for a while lah. Okay, kita pause sekejap. I just want to teach you how, uh, how to do the how to do the second part, lah, which is to find the solution. Okay, so we know that the, the algebraic equation uh, is y equals to 4x over 3 pi minus 3 over 2. And how did we do this the last time? Ask, how did we do this the last time? y equals to 4x over 3 pi minus 3 over 2. Is it 4x minus 3 pi uh, over 3 pi minus 3 over 2? Okay, so how do we do this? We use the two most extreme values. So in the past now we had x equals to 0 and 2 pi okay and then we replace them. So we get uh, y equals to negative 3 over 2 okay when x equals to 0 y equals to negative 3 over 2 and when x equals to 2 pi <laughs> oh dear Uh, you get 2 pi 8 over 3 minus 3 over 2 you get about 7 over 6 1 point something lah. okay 1.2 okay so once you get that okay 1.2 so what you do is you plot the two points okay as we said just now lah. so 0 is negative 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2 is about negative 1.5 okay so negative 1.5 so you have negative 1 here so negative 1.5 maybe about here lah. okay so you plot 1 and then at 2 pi okay it's about 1.2 so 1.2 maybe somewhere here and then the same thing okay you draw the you draw the straight line that connects the two of them okay but this time instead of identifying the number of solutions you need to okay instead of doing this now once you have circled this then you okay find the value of x over here okay what is this value what is this value and what is this value okay so when you do that now when you find the value of x Okay, then you can either write it in terms of uh, decimal places, okay, like in this one in Desmos. Okay, they write in decimal places like 1.942, 3.035, okay, and 4.501. Ah, yeah. Okay, 4.501. Or you can write it in terms of pi or you can write it in degrees. Okay, um, I think in our textbooks, it doesn't really matter, but I think uh, kalau macam saya tengok dalam contoh buku teks, bahkan um, Okay, 
if I look at the example <laughs> in the textbook, uh, uh, they say zero, I mean, they give in terms of pi. Uh. Okay, so let's say, for example, uh, you get this 4.5. Okay, so let's say over here, you get 4.5. Let me go back to this. Uh. Okay, so this one, okay, this one is, you know, is about 4.5. Uh. Okay, so if you don't know, if you want to write it in terms of pi, so what you do is you divide by 3.142. 4.5 divided by 3.142, so you get about 1.4 pi. Dear, you can write it like this, or you can write it like this. I think for me, either way, it doesn't matter. All I want to know is what is the x value. Okay, but I suspect that probably one of the biggest problems is how do you divide the number of boxes between this and this? <laughs> Okay, this is 1 over 4, this is 3 over 8, right? So how do you divide the number of boxes? Okay, I suggest that uh, what you do is you convert it, nah? okay, you convert it into decimal place. So for example, this one, nah, 1 over 8 pi is 1 over 8 times 3.142. Okay, so it's about 0 0.39 or 0 0.4. Lah. Okay, so 0 0.4 here is 0 0.8. 1.2 and so on and so forth. Okay, so there are actually many things to consider uh, when you are when you are doing the drawing of the graph. Okay, which is why uh, I think for me the most important thing is you know how to draw the graph and you know how to identify the the x value from it. Okay, it can be <laughs> it can be like agak agak lah. Okay, but the most important thing is this uh, the drawing of the graph. How to draw the graph? Okay. First of all, you need to find the period. Okay, period is 2 pi over b, whatever the b is. And then after that, you have to find the class interval. Okay, you divide it by 8. So you get 1 over 8 pi. Once you have the class interval, the first class interval will be this answer. Then you just plus 1 over 8, plus 1 over 8 pi, plus 1 over 8 pi, and so on and so forth. Okay, that's the important thing. Okay, let's do one question. Okay. Uh, let's do one question from the textbook now. Okay, and hopefully, uh, having the scale there uh, will be helpful. Lah. Okay, so turn to page two hundred and ten. Uh. You can finish the just now punya question a bit later. Turn to page two hundred and ten in your textbook. I want you to do question number five. Okay, question number five. We do it now, lah. Okay, we do it now. So question number five. It says uh, that you're supposed to draw on the same axis the graphs of the trigonometric functions y equals to 1 plus sine 2x and y equals to 2 cos 2x. So now you have two trigonometric functions. Okay. Now the good news is, the good news is both of these are the b equals to 2. Okay. So you will have the same uh, you will have the same uh, period. Lah. Okay, so I'm going to call this y1 and I'm going to call this y2. Okay, y1 and y2. Now, uh, let's find the... What's the first thing we need to find? We have to find the period first. Okay, so the period is 2 pi over 2 because b is 2 lah, for both, Okay, which is pi. So the class interval okay, will be 1 over 8 times the period. Or the period divided by 8. What did I teach you? Yeah, period divided by 8. Okay, so it will be 1 over 8 pi. So you're going to have the same thing as just now. Okay, and all 16 also. Okay, so I suggest now that you do like this. Okay, x, first one is 1 over 8 pi. Second one is 1 over 4 pi, and so on and so forth. Okay, 1 over 8, 1 over 4, yada, 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 yada. Okay, and then you go all the way until you hit 2 pi. Okay, same thing last 16. But every equation is different. This is 1 plus sine 2x. Okay, so y over here, y1 and this is y2. Okay, so you plot y1 first and then you plot y2. Okay, how do I calculate now? Okay, y equals to 1 plus sine 2x. So, kalau x kita adalah 1 over 8 pi, as I said just now, you change the pi to 180 degrees. Okay, so, this will be 
1 plus sine 2 times 1 over 8 times 180 degrees. Sebab dalam kalkulator kita pakai degrees. So 1 plus sine, okay, how much is this? 2 times 1 over 8 times 180. Okay, you get 45. So this will give you 1.707. 1.71 1 lah. Okay, so you get 1.71. Then the next one, y2, is this. 2 cos 2x, but remember, uh, it's modulus. Okay, so we try and see. Uh, okay. Y equals to 2 cos 2x modulus. Kita ganti x sebagai 1 over 8 pi. 1 over 8 times 180 lah. Okay, modulus. Alright, so settle this one, uh, guys. Okay, jangan juga kamu potong-potong ni dua, tiada kaitan. Okay, so 2 times 1 over 8 times 180 is 45. Cos 45 is 0 0.7. Then you times 2, you will get 1.41. Okay, so then you substitute here. 1.41. Then you do, 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 until you get, uh, until you get all the way until 2 pi. Okay, so this one, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. Uh. Actually, you should start with x equals to 0. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. x equals to 0 and then this one. Because when you put x equals to 0, you may not get this one. Uh. This is 1 and this one will be 0. Lah. Okay, 0. No, 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 sorry, this will be 1. Oh, no, 2, sorry, 2. Okay, you will get the value of 2. Yeah, so you should actually have 17 points all together. 1 over 8 pi, 1 over 4 pi, blah, 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 blah. Remember, uh, the more points you have, uh, the better it is to see the shape. Okay? Is it very menyusahkan to mengira? Yes. I know it is very menyusahkan to mengira. Okay? But it is a required skill. You need to know how to do this. How to find a cross interval so that you can plot the graph. Because sometimes if you have two little points, uh, you may not be able to get the correct shape of the graph. And that's very dangerous. Okay? So that's why even though they say at least 8 points, kan, the more points you have, the better. Because kamu nampak itu pattern. Okay, if you do enough questions, uh, you will know. If you have two little points, then you cannot, you don't know which is the pattern. You don't know what is the pattern. Okay, because there are not enough points in the middle to help you to, 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 to do this. Turn back to question number 5. Dia ada cakap juga di sana, using a scale okay of 2 cm to pi over 4 radian okay and 2 cm to 1 unit on the y axis and then this one is the x axis okay that means uh, 2 cm pi over 4 radian okay means that dalam kamu punya graph kan 2 cm ini, I'm going to assume that this is 2 cm lah. Okay, is kamu letak the first dash over there, pi over 4. Which means pi over 8. Okay, pi over 8 is antara 0 and pi over 4. So let's say this is your graph. Okay, the first dash lepas 2 cm makan is pi over 4. 1 per 4 pi. So antaranya mesti 1 per 8 pi. The first one lah. Okay, so use the scales to help you. The scales will actually make it much easier. Sorry, the scales will make it much easier to help you uh, to, to see how the graph is. And you will probably need to kasi landscape your graph instead of drawing it on portrait. Okay, sorry, let's go back to question two. Huh? Okay, question two says 2cm to pi over 6, okay, on x-axis. And then 1 cm to 1 unit on y axis. Now the graph is y equals to 5 tangent x. Okay, instead of using this, okay, instead of using this, we use pi over 6 lah, to help us. Okay, 12, ah. yeah, it could be 12. Okay, so we use 0, uh, 1 over 6 pi, and then you add another 1 over 6 pi to it. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6. Okay, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 will give you 1 over 3 pi. 
1 over 3 pi and then this one. So the problem with this question, uh, sorry, the problem with this question is there are actually more than one way uh, to make the table. But the point about making the table uh, is so that we can have enough points to show us uh, the, the pattern, to show us the pattern of the, the, the graph. Okay, because, okay, 5 tangent x, uh, basically 5 tangent x is really a no-brainer. Uh. Okay, dia punya graph memang macam ni. Okay, you get the two asymptotes over here. They memang akan buat macam ni lah. Okay, the 5 is pretty much useless lah. Okay, it's still going to look like this. And it's only one cycle. By 0 to 3 over 2 pi. So 3 over 2 pi, you know, I think you will land somewhere over here lah. Okay. So what you can do is you can use this pi over 6 to make your table. And then from the table, you draw the graph. Okay, so there's more than one way uh, to create a table. The guide that I gave you just now, panduan yang saya bagi tadi, yang ini, uh, yang ini, uh, okay, period equals to 2 pi over b, and then class interval equals to period over a, is a general rule. Uh, okay, it's a general rule that uh, is good if you want to find many points. But then I realized that this question, this sudah bagi skala. Okay, so maybe we can use the skala to help us. Uh, okay, skala is pi over 6. Uh, you will have less points, okay, much easier to count because kamu mau sampai 3 over 2 saja kan? You will be definitely easier to count. Uh, you can try for, you can try to this one lah. Okay, uh, but dia cakap, okay, y equals to, sorry, 30 tangent x minus 6x plus 5 pi equals to 0. So we want to find the, we want to find the algebraic function. Okay, the trigonometric function is y equals to 5 tangent x. Okay, so we have the 5 over here, but let's, you know, kita bawa yang lain pergi sebelah lah. Okay, so you get 30 tangent x equals to 6x minus 5 pi. How do we make the 30 to become 5? We divide by 6. Divide everything by 6, you get 5 tangent x equals to 6x divided by 6, x minus 5 over 6 pi. Which means that this y equals to x minus 5 over 6 pi is your straight line graph. Okay, so straight line is very easy lah kan? 1 point, 1 point, kasih sambung. Okay, then when you kasih sambung, you can find the, uh, not the number of solutions of people, is not the number of solutions. Okay, it is the uh, it is the value, it is the value in the solutions. Okay, so like this, uh, this is what I want you to do. Lah, okay, I think instead of handing it in in the Telegram group, I think on Wednesday I want to see, uh, eh, our next class is Wednesday, right? Okay, so on Wednesday, I want to see your work. Lah. Okay, I want to see your work. So what you do is you uh, put everything into one graph paper, okay? Please, for the love of God, okay, go and get some graph paper. Huh? Okay, uh, put everything into one graph paper, one question, one graph paper, and then upload your work into the Padlet. And then on Wednesday, I will take a look one by one and see where we can, uh, where we can uh, improve on our mistake. Okay, so two questions, huh? question number three and question, sorry, question number two and question number five. Okay, in page 210. Question number two and question number five in page 210. What you do is, uh, when you want to share into the Padlet, nah, okay, let me share the Padlet with you. You, what you do is, you can, if you're using a laptop, nah, you, oh no, sorry, you have to take a photo, right? Okay, so you take the photo, then you add your design in. So you put in the subject, nah, okay? Write your name, okay, and the question number. Okay, so it can be Fadila question 2 or Fadila question 5. Depend because you have to do two questions. Okay, so they memang akan berterabu banyak tempat. That's my problem lah. Okay, yang penting kau ambil gambar, okay, yang sudah lengkap. Okay, and then uh, write your name and the question number. If you want to write something beautiful, okay, I'm handsome now or whatever lah. Okay, you can, you can write whatever you want. Okay, or if you have anything that you're unsure of, Okay, maybe you can ask your question there. You can say, sir, how, 
Don't ask me whether this is correct, okay? Because everybody's going to ask me, sir, I'm not sure, okay? How to calculate the value of each angle? Ah, uh, begitu. Okay, kalau kamu ada kemusykilan, if you're not sure how to do something, okay, just put it up in a padlet. So do it today and tomorrow, and then Wednesday we will. I will take a look at all your graphs. Okay, and uh, and 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 we will do a little bit more discussion lah. Okay, I actually wanted to finish this today, but I thought that oh, tidak boleh. Sangat actually it's very important that you learn how to draw these graphs. Especially if you're going into uh, higher level maths uh, in form six, kan? Ini bahagian melukis graph ini yang sangat penting. So we need this foundation, lah. Okay. So two questions. Give it a try. Okay. All the best. Uh, if you're not sure of anything, you can always uh, ask me uh, any questions. Okay. Mm -hmm.